The South Street Seaport Museum in New York City will be opening a new exhibit featuring the work of the legendary artist Mario Sanchez. Now, it was actually set to open this week, but it has been postponed due to damage from Hurricane Sandy. However, taking place right now here in Key West, the gallery on Green Street, they are raising funds to help with the damage and, of course, help get this museum back up and running. Nance, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Thank you, Jenna. Good now, to see you. Now, it's great seeing you, Nance, but you were not supposed to be here in Key West right now. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was supposed to be in New York opening this exhibit, and unfortunately, the museum was flooded six feet of water. Wow. And mm -hmm. they still don't have electricity. And they? they still don't have electricity or heating. Oh. Yeah. Was any of the work damaged, Nance? No, no. It was fascinating. You know, none of them had ever lived through a hurricane, so... I told them, the first thing I did, of course, was say, take all of the Marios to the second to the top floor. Mm -hmm. Not the top floor, because you don't want the roof to blow off. Take it up there, put it in a room with no uh, windows. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> but really, it's not going to be that bad. And I said, oh. You never know. You never know. And, and it was that bad. It was that bad, right. Yeah. So none of the work is damaged, but no. the museum is damaged right now. Yeah. So you've decided to help raise funds, Nance, and what are you doing to raise yes. those funds? The Key West Art and Historical Society and the Gallery on Green are going to be selling this catalog mm -hmm. for, and all of the proceeds will go to the South Street Seaport Museum. It's a wonderful new, it's the catalog for the exhibit, 44 pages of magnificent Mario Sanchez artwork. This is a treat in itself, just to have it this catalog. Yes. And now all the funds, again, like you said, mm -hmm. it will be going to the museum. Nance, tell our viewers a little bit about A Fisherman's Dream. Well, this is the first exhibit that any Floridian has ever presented in a museum in, in, in New York. And it's going to be a fabulous museum. It was curated by the museum staff in conjunction with the American Folk Art Museum and the Museum of the City of New York. It's a three-part exhibit. Part of it is about the seaport, Key West, the people, of course, the mm -hmm. fishermen, the fish themselves, and you know Mario did fabulous fish. Mm -hmm. And then there's a part about Mario, his home, and his father and his family. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Nancy, you worked with Mario for quite a I few did. years, didn't I you? I did. I worked with him for 10 years, and this was Mario's dream. What was his dream? To have this exhibit Yes, opening. it was. To and take so Key West and show people all over the world what a wonderful place the Florida Keys is. Well, his dream yeah. is coming true yes, then. Yes, it is. And this exhibit will be opening, even though it's postponed right now. It will. How soon do you think that it could happen? Well, when they get electricity, we'll know, but I'm mm -hmm. hoping by the beginning of December, and then it will run for three to six months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a little bit more about Mario Sanchez, mm -hmm. Nance, since he worked with him and he was a, a friend of yours. Was. What's something that you, what would you say is probably the most important thing that you learned from him? Oh, there were so many things I learned from Mario. He was a great philosopher. He was a big believer in the American dream, in one race, the human race, everyone being created equal, and in treating people as individuals and not because of their race or creed or religion or size or he w and he really believed in hard work and a good joke. Mm -hmm. A good joke, really. Paramount. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any of his jokes? Oh, he would make a, a joke every time you saw him. <laughs> he, um, I used to ride, I still have a moped, but I used okay. to ride this moped, and it's all I had when I first moved back to Key West. And I would take off on that moped like a rocket ship, <laughs> and he gave me a nickname. It was Kyo Silver! <laughs> Kyo Silver, Kyo that's Silver, good. Kyo Silver, my nickname. <laughs> that's good. Does that still stick with you today? Yes. People still call, yes. it, call you Kyo Silver. Yep. <laughs> now, Nancy, you had so much to do with this exhibit opening. Mm -hmm. you, this well, was a dream of yours, too. Yes, it was a mutual dream of Mario's and I. We, we, have worked, we worked on it for 18 years. Mm -hmm. um, he came to me when I first moved back to Key West, and he said, you know, my wife has been ill, she's passed away, I need to restart my career, how should I do it? And I said, you have to do something thematic. So we started on thematic themes, and this one of a fisherman's dream is something that's close to everybody. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love fish? Right, right. Or fishermen. Or fishermen, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how long would this exhibit be running for now? It's going to be three to six months, depending on how long 
It is until the Seaport Museum is back up and running. Are you working on any other new exhibits, ma'am? Yes, we're going to have an exhibit on January 17th of 2014 in Havana, Cuba at the National Gallery, Bellas Artes. Okay, well mm -hmm. I look forward to hearing yes. more about that. Now. I hope you'll come. <laughs> I will, <laughs> <Okay>. right? <laughs> you get me there. All right. <laughs> All right, Nance. Well, thank you, and thank hopefully you. everybody can pick up their copy of A Fisherman's Dream Folk Art by Mario Sanchez. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stay with me.